So yesterday I sent an email out to my list and I was asking for some help. I needed some ideas for content this week for my YouTube channel, for my Facebook group, for my email list. And so I asked them, what questions do you have? What topics would you like me to cover or break down in a YouTube video? Uh, what do you want my opinion on? And the overwhelming response was people wanted to know what industries are still operating and booming right now and what are some services and products that you could sell to these industries that are still operating and still booming right now. So I've done both of those things. In this video, I'm gonna tell you nine industries that are still booming right now. And then also at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you some services and products that you can still offer to these industries that they are still buying and that they still need right now. So let's start at the top of this list. What I'm gonna do is, it's in no particular order, by the way. I'm gonna tell you what it is and why, why it's still booming. And then also at the end, again, I'm gonna tell you some services that you can offer to these industries, right? So let's start at number one, e-learning. What is it? It's online, any kind of online education. So it could be books, courses, programs, degrees. Why is it booming right now? Well, more people are in front of a computer screen than ever before. So people are looking to learn and improve their skill sets and continue their education even more so that they're at home now and that they don't have any bars or restaurants or entertainment to go out to. So my sister, she is in the middle of her master's degree. She's getting a master's in physical therapy and she, she goes to school in Arizona, but she spent the last month and a half or so, she, she's only taking online courses now, and she's she flew back, to, flew back home to Hawaii to take these classes online. All of her classes are online right now. So whether you're an entrepreneur or you're a student or you're going to, to college, uh, everyone still needs education right now. Books, courses, programs, degrees. So if you can work with companies in the e-learning industry, huge, massive industry right now, okay? That's number one, e-learning. Number two is any kind of health and wellness products. What is it? People selling or companies that are selling supplements, things like masks and hand sanitizer, anything to help with health and wellness and staying healthy. So why is it booming? Because everyone is concerned about their health right now, right? Duh. So anything that you can sell to help with like, for example, supplements to help people stay, to help people strengthen their immune system or to prevent disease, not prevent disease, I can't really say that, but to help prevent disease or to help treat certain conditions and help people stay in good health, that's gonna be selling very well right now. So supplements, masks, hand sanitizer, any kind of physical products that help with health and wellness are going to be booming right now. Number three is any kind of business and home office products. So any companies in this industry are doing very well right now. What is it, any products for business or your home office? And why is it booming? Well, everyone is working from home or virtually. Whether you work for a corporate company, whether you work for, uh, whether you work for yourself as an entrepreneur or a self-employed person, you are working from home right now and you need business and home office products to make you be more efficient. So people are spending more money on business products and services that make them more efficient at home and then also that help them to connect better with their team and with their company. So it, this, this goes for both people for both, both for companies that are targeting people who work in a corporate company and also entrepreneurs and people who are self-employed and run their own business, okay? So huge industry right now. Number four, software and software as a service, SaaS. So you guys know how much I love this industry because it's the main industry that we serve for Growth Response, which is our LinkedIn lead generation service. What is it? It can be any consumer or business software company. Why is it booming? Well, the same reason as above. More people are in front of computer screens and phones and tablets than ever before. You guys think about Zoom, right? The meeting and video conferencing app or software. It's become a pop culture icon. So I'm seeing, I have done happy hours on Zoom with like 20 different friends. There's memes about it. There's family gatherings, there's parties. There are wet, I've seen weddings being done on Zoom, like people meeting virtually for a wedding because they can't meet in big gatherings in person. So Zoom is an example of a SaaS product that people, that um, Zoom was only selling to businesses before the coronavirus, but now they're selling to consumers as well. It's become this big pop culture icon. So the SaaS and software industry booming right now. Number five is content creators. So this one might take you by surprise, but any kind of experts, influencers, educators, and entertainers who create and share content online. Why is it booming? Well, because creating they're creating more content now because they have more eyeballs on the content they create, right? Everyone's in front of a, a phone, a tablet, a computer screen. 
And I've also seen them getting creative and rolling out new ways to serve people. So I've seen consulting, coaching, teaching, monthly memberships, info products. So if you can go and work with some of these content creators and help them get more sales and more eyeballs on their, their products and their consulting and their coaching and teaching, they will pay money for that, right? This is an absolutely booming industry right now because everybody wants to be entertained and they have nothing else to do but watch these experts and influencers and educators and entertainers who are creating content, okay? So that's number five, content creators. Number six, this one is not glamorous or sexy at all, but it's the cleaning and sanitation industry, right? What is it? <clears throat> any cleaning and sanitation services for residential or commercial. So why is it booming? Businesses and consumers, they are paranoid about cleanliness right now. When people are paranoid, they buy products and services to help them stay away from that fear of what they're, whatever they're paranoid about, right? So they're paranoid about getting dirty and getting sick, so they're gonna pay a lot of money for cleaning services and sanitation services. So demand, since this whole virus has come, has skyrocketed for residential and commercial cleaning services and supplies to help people stay clean during this time where, where the only thing we're hearing every day is to wash your hands and don't touch your face, right? So businesses and consumers are both huge demand for cleaning and sanitation services, okay? Now I've seen agency owners who are doing maybe like 40, 50K a month before the virus hit selling to cleaning, to selling to the cleaning industry, you know, carpet cleaning or any kind of cleaning services. And after the virus hit, they're doing like 150 to 200K per month, right? So they saw a huge, huge uptick after the virus hit for these cleaning and sanitation companies. Uh, so that's number six. Number seven, online fitness. Now this can be fitness equipment, it could be online training, personal training, or any type of fitness products to help people stay in shape at home. Why is it booming? Well, gyms are closed all around the world and people need to stay in shape, right? I haven't been to the gym since I think the middle of March. I think that's when it closed down. Uh, my local gym closed in the middle of March and I haven't been for you know over a, like a month and a half now, but I needed to stay in shape at home. So I actually, I've been trying to buy a pull-up bar for home for the last month and I actually finally did it, but I bought it on Amazon, I bought it on Target, I bought it at Walmart, I bought it at this, this local place called Dick Sporting Goods and all four of those places canceled my order because they ran out of stock. It's in such huge demand that they, they don't have any pull-up bars left. So I finally got it on eBay, but it was like a hundred and something dollars when it usually sells for $25. So it's, it's crazy right now. The demand for fitness equipment or any kind of online training programs to help people stay in shape at home, like the Peloton. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. The Peloton is like a bike that you can rent or buy where you can join cycling classes through the screen they give you. So it's, a, it's like a, it's a home cycling bike that you can get on and you can join classes all around the world. Any products like that that help people stay in shape at home are massive right now. Um, eight is subscription services. So this is gonna have some overlap with some of the other things and industries that we talked about. But what is it? It's any type of subscription service that you pay for. So it could be groceries, could be dining, software, entertainment, newsletter, magazine subscriptions, anything that you pay for like on a monthly recurring basis. Now, why is it booming? The same reason as above. People are stuck at home and they need subscriptions for all different types of things. And now that they're at home with nothing better to do, they're signing up and buying more and more things. So this could be like Spotify, like Netflix. This could be, I, I sign up for some print marketing newsletters. I pay like a hundred bucks a month for like four or five different newsletters that are mailed to me every month. So those are all examples of subscription services that you that people are that are super in demand right now. Number nine, this one is massive: telemedicine and telehealth. So what is it? It's health and medical clinics and doctors and health professionals who are serving and helping to treat their patients online virtually. Why is it booming? This one is huge right now. It's a combination of everyone being paranoid about the virus and then also not being able to meet in person. My auntie, she's a, she's a clinical psychologist. She's back in Hawaii. And she has seen a massive uptick in the amount of patients that she's treating. And she rolled out a, tele, a telemedicine or telehealth program to help serve all these patients. Uh, because there's more people dealing with mental health issues right now. And she's talking to more and more people than ever before. And she's using Zoom and video chat and video conferencing to help treat and serve these patients. Uh, so this industry is massive. Telemedicine and telehealth. And it's like, it's, it's kind of new, right? It's kind of brand new. 
ever since this whole coronavirus thing hit. So if you can go in and help to help serve these medical practices and help them get more patients and serve more patients uh, using vir virtually like Zoom or whatever it is, you're gonna be in good shape, okay? So these are the nine industries. I'm gonna go over them one more time. Number one, e-learning, any kind of online education, books, courses, programs, degrees. Number two is health and wellness products. So anything to do with health and wellness, supplements, masks, hand sanitizer, anything to help people stay healthy. Number three is business and home office products. Things to, products to help people stay more efficient and effective at home and connect better with their company and their team. Number four is software and SaaS companies. Anyone that's selling or any company that's selling software either to a consumer or a business. An example is Zoom, right? Number five is content creators. So experts, influencers, educators, and entertainers who create and share content online and are helping their audience in this time of uncertainty, right? Number five is content creators. Number six is cleaning and sanitation. So any kind of residential or commercial cleaning and sanitation products and services. Number seven is online fitness. Can be fitness equipment, online training, or any type of fitness products to help people stay in shape at home. Number eight is any kind of subscription services, groceries, dining, software, entertainment, newsletter, magazine subscriptions, all example of subscription services. And number nine, telemedicine and telehealth health and medical clinics, doctors, and health professionals who are serving and treating their patients online without having to meet in person, okay? Now, what can you offer these industries, right? So these are the industries that are still booming right now. What are you going to offer them? What are they still buying? What do they still need? Here are some ideas, and I'll, show, I'll tell you why I bolded some of these at, in a second here. But some ideas, email marketing. If you can go to these companies who have existing email lists, right? Like think about it like a fitness entrepreneur or a content creator who has a big email list, but they're not mailing their list often, you can go to these companies and say, hey, I will set you up an email campaign that's gonna put more money into your pocket and you don't have to spend any more on advertising. I'm just gonna go to your existing list, I'm gonna create you an email campaign, and I'm gonna make you more money from your existing list. That's an enticing offer for these companies who are not mailing their list frequently right now. So if you can go to these companies that already have a list that you can work with and just write up a few emails, uh, and that's, that's the service that we just rolled out, right? Writing daily emails for some of these companies. So if you can go to a software company or to a content creator or to a fitness professional or fitness entrepreneur and write up some email campaigns to help them make more sales, you are in good shape there. A uh, second one is copywriting. So any kind of copywriting services, website, website copywriting, product descriptions, landing pages, emails, video scripts, anything that you can, any kind of written word copywriting that's gonna help these companies make more sales, they are absolutely still buying right now. Every company needs sales right now. If you can go to these companies, these industries, and help them with some copywriting services, you are going to sell. Number three is landing page design and optimization. So a lot of these companies, they don't have landing pages set up or they have crappy landing pages that are not converting. So you can go to some of them, maybe it's a supplement company and they need some landing pages to capture more leads for their email list or their local business, these telehealth or tele telemedicine companies, they need a better landing page design that will help them capture more leads for their teleseminars. You can go and help them create these landing pages, right? That's another idea of service you can offer. Number four is sales funnel architecture, okay? This is set like mapping out a sales funnel strategy for these companies and then sometimes creating it for them, okay? So like imagine if you have this, fist, this fitness entrepreneur, online fitness entrepreneur who they have like an, I've seen this all the time, an audience of like a million people and they don't have any product that they're selling. They're just making training videos, fitness videos. You can make them an info product sales funnel or help them to map it out or consult them on how to do it, on how to create maybe a $50 or $100 online training fitness product and help them sell that through, sell that through a sales funnel, right? Help them set that up, right? So that they have a, a huge audience and they're not monetizing that and you go to them and say, hey, I can help you make more money. I can turn more of your followers into cash in your pocket, right? More sales for you without spending more money on advertising or whatever it is because you already have a huge audience. That's an enticing offer for these people, right? So sales funnel architecture, sales funnel setup for people who already have an audience and who already have a following. Media buying, so Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads. If you can go out and help businesses generate more leads and more sales and more customers and more clients through paid advertising, you're always gonna be in demand, right? And this kind of goes hand in hand, like media buying goes hand in hand with copywriting and knowing how to write good ads. 
Uh, but setting, knowing how to set up you know, Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads or Google ads, in addition to copywriting and writing good ads, you're gonna be in good shape. Social media management. Businesses still need to stay top of mind, right? They still need to educate their audience and, and create brand awareness so that people still buy their products and services. So if you can help with creating and posting social media content on a daily basis or a consistent basis, people are still buying that. LinkedIn lead gen. So if you're B2B, this is absolutely still selling, right? We sell this, uh, we sell this to software companies and digital agencies mainly, but if you are in any B2B in industry that needs more leads and more B2B clients, LinkedIn lead gen is still gonna help them do that. People are still on LinkedIn, they didn't just abandon LinkedIn. So if you can help businesses generate more leads on LinkedIn and messaging, then, and you're, and you're in B2B, this is a service that is still in demand. Content creation and content marketing. This kind of goes hand in hand with social media management, but if you can help these industries and businesses stay top of mind with their audience, so that you, you keep them top of mind so that when they're ready to buy, they go with that company or with your client, if that's your, if that's your client. Content creation and marketing is absolutely still something that these industries are buying. And then lastly, your own products and services, right? So virtual consults, coaching, info products. This is mainly if you are experienced, like if you're a freelancer and you're looking to monetize your expertise and make more money off, off of what you already know, creating your own products is a great way to do that, right? Whether it's doing virtual one-on-one -on -one consults. Uh, I used to do something called a virtual coffee chat. I used to have people all the time message me and say, I'd like to take you out for coffee or I'd like to pick your brain. So I just created this little Calendly link, this little calendar link where people could pay me $500 to pick my brain for an hour and a half, right? So I would send them that link and that way I just get rid of all the tire kickers and only the people who really wanted to grow would book time and pay for that fee. I would call it a virtual coffee chat, I think. So you can create your own products, info products, your own coaching programs, your monthly memberships, that's what I do. That's what a lot. If you are an expert or a freelancer, you, you know a lot about a certain area, you can do this here. Create your own products, right? And it's a great time to do that right now. Now, here's your options. You can either drop service these or you can learn one of these evergreen skill sets and have the world at your fingertips, okay? So these things that I highlighted here or these, these things that I bolded here, these are the skills that I spent the last four and a half, five years developing and mastering. So things around email marketing, copywriting, sales funnel, architecture, media buying. I'm, I'm proficient on Facebook and Instagram, I'm mean, not Facebook and Instagram, Facebook and YouTube mainly. And then also creating my own products, right? Creating good products uh, based on my expertise and things that I know, okay? So you can either, if you're brand new, you can partner with a fulfillment provider or a freelancer and drop service a lot of these things or you can spend this downtime that you are spending at home instead of watching TV all day or playing video games all day, you can spend it learning one of these skills, right? And I highlighted the ones that I would recommend. Anything around copywriting, especially, email marketing. Um, I think I should probably unbold a lot of these. I would say copywriting is like one of the main things that you should learn and creating amazing products and services. Because if you know copywriting, you're gonna be good at media buying, you're gonna be good at sales funnels, you're gonna be good at creating your own products and services and content creation and marketing and LinkedIn Legion. All these things on this list, if you're good at copywriting, you can, you can do well in all these areas, okay? So I'm gonna say copywriting, if you wanna learn something, spend your time. If, if I were to make a recommendation, that's, how I would, that's what I would recommend you learning. Okay, so again, you can either drop service these or learn an evergreen skill set and have the world at your fingertips where you can pivot and offer all kinds of different services that you want, right? But that is the nine different industries that are still booming right now, even given the current state of affairs. And then also some ideas of products and services that you can offer to these industries that they're still gonna buy, that they still need right now. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Give me a like if you like this video, comment below with any questions that you have or what you wanna see in the next video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.